<coughs> yes, please. May Good afternoon. Thank you very much, Dr. Gilada, for the kind invitation to participate in this, in this press conference today. The Global South countries have many issues in common. We concentrate the highest number of low and middle income countries where inequalities are still determining the maintenance of the HIV epidemic. ART scale, scale up do, over the years has improved as well as access to services. However, it's also fundamental to ensure the quality and sustainability of the programs implemented. Challenges and gaps remain, including stigma, discrimination, and insufficient funding. India is globally recognized for its vast research and development capacity. India's international cooperation has been an answer to the global call for world leaders to come together for an urgent and coordinated global response. India, as one of the biggest generic producers, has been able to develop, produce, and export generic ARVs, which are key for allowing expanding accessibility to medicines. South-South co cooperation between emerging economies economies demand mutual beneficial effects for the member countries, grants, capacity building, trade, development finances, and technical cooperation are some of the modalities of cooperation. Along the HIV epidemic, India has advocated for the availability of medicines and other tools across the globe through international cooperation and development of partnerships. Despite the increase in access to ARVs, the disproportionate distribution of the mortality and morbidity burden of AIDS between the poor and, and industrialized regions of the world reinforce the life versus profit, the intellectual property versus access, and the innovation plus access debates. There are compelling factors that demand a reassessment of of policy framework for emergent South-South cooperation, a framework which is holistic and aims for generating health-driven research and development that would strike balance between promoting and protecting the right access to medicines. Beyond local production of pharmaceuticals and vaccines, should exist considerable South-South collaboration on the largest intellectual property and access for medicines policy issues, including alliances between civil societies and governments to push for shared interests in global policy making arenas, especially on trade intellectual property issues. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we could again see the major Indian leadership in advancing the technology of manufacturing vaccines that were instrumental to assist our countries in expanding access to COVID-19 vaccines, which highly contributed to save lives in the global south. Within the framework of cooperation, India needs to further increase partnerships with less developed countries of the south to boost access to ARVs and other tools, helping us with political and policy expertise to boost access, reinforcing the importance of resilient healthcare systems. India's international cooperation has been an answer to the global call for world leaders to come together for an urgent and coordinated global response. Thank you.